A key bill on vaccines will not get through after all. In a last minute decision, Senator Scott Weiner of San Francisco pulled his bill this morning that would have permitted teenagers 15 and older to receive a COVID-19 vaccine without permission from their parents. Outside the Capitol, opponents of the bill celebrated the news. We have made history today. Yes. This is symbolic that you cannot get between a parent and our children. That's right. That's right. Senator Weiner pulled the bill due to a lack of votes and also death threats, writing in a statement, quote, the anti-vaxxer harassment campaign worked this time at the expense of teen health. We lost this round, but we aren't going anywhere. One measure inching its way to the governor's desk, a measure supporters say will help bring to the unhoused help across the state. In a 62 to 2 vote, members of the assembly approved Senate Bill 1338 to create care courts in California. The proposal would allow court ordered treatment plans for homeless people suffering from severe mental illness or substance abuse disorders. Backers say the goal is to provide assistance for those who need it most and get them off the street. This is a mega step that we're taking today and I think it's the right step. And so again, I want to be able to, one, sleep at night, and I will be able to sleep at night because we're doing something. Nothing good happens until we make the first step. This is the first step. Let's make it together. Opponents, which include Human Rights Watch, argue court-ordered treatment will not work. The group maintains the bill does not do enough to address the need for housing. This late in the session, the state legislature is also turning its attention online. One bill passed would require social media companies to publicly disclose their content moderation policies. Another would ensure online services that are easily accessible to children be age appropriate. That measure would also limit what personal information these sites can share about the users themselves. These are not big things to ask the tech companies to step up and do, but they're necessary things for our kids. We believe that this is an important step forward, an important first step in protecting our kids and addressing the spread of extremism, hate, and misinformation online. Both bills have been approved by the Senate and Assembly with bipartisan support and are now on the governor's desk. Kindergarten could soon become mandatory for California's kids. The state Senate has passed a bill that requires all students to complete one year of kindergarten before first grade. If the governor signs it, the mandate will go into effect ahead of the 2024 school year. According to educational experts, early learning is vital preparation for the rest of school. And the state Senate has also passed a bill to create more wildlife crossings throughout California. The bridges that are built over highways can protect roaming animals from being hit by cars, much like what you're seeing just there from Utah. The Safe Roads and Wildlife Protection Act now awaits approval from Governor Newsom. If passed, it would require Caltrans to identify barriers to wildlife movement and prioritize crossings when designing new roads or making road improvements.